And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning. It's the calm before the storm once again across eastern Idaho. The National Weather Service has already issued a winter weather advisory beginning at midnight tonight for again most areas shaded in white and also for the western half of Wyoming. Snowfall totals between about 1 to 10 inches for the Snake River Plain from about Pocatello to Rexburg will see 1 to 3 inches. But other areas especially across the higher elevations such as Jackson could see about 2 to 6 inches of snow. Now with this the most important thing to keep in mind will be the blowing and drifting snow. We'll see wind gusts up to about 45 miles per hour throughout the day for tomorrow. So traveling tomorrow morning will be very slick. You'll need extra time and it could stay that way for a good chunk of the day. There is also winter storm warning that begins at midnight tonight. This is for the Bear River Range across our southeast highlands. Anywhere from about 9 to even 13 inches of snow will be expected. So more snow on top of what we've received already for this week. But I do think that this will finally be the last round of snow we see until next week. Storm tracker radar this morning showing a few light snow showers across Sun Valley, also near Arco, and also the eastern Snake Highlands of the western half of Wyoming. I think your areas see those at least throughout the morning hours. They diminish for this afternoon, but we will still be left with plenty of clouds in the sky. Fortunately, this morning, roadway is very clear. We're looking like a smooth morning commute along the I-15, getting a look outside right now. And it'll stay that way throughout the day, but for tomorrow, roadways will look much different, especially in the morning hours. We're a bit cooler out there for this morning across the upper Snake River Plain, struggling to reach the teens across Idaho Falls at 12 degrees. We're at 13 in Rexburg. A bit warmer for the lower half of the Snake River Plain, waking up to temperatures in those lower to some locations in the upper 20s. And you'll see a lot of clouds in the sky for today. Much different from what we saw yesterday. Lots of clouds across eastern Idaho. Not much in terms of sunshine and blue sky, but notice out to our northwest, that's the next storm system. Moves eastward and drives up moisture from the southwest for tonight and for a good chunk of tomorrow. But the good news is I think most of the moisture tapers off by about the middle half of the day tomorrow, but the blowing and drifting snow will persist. For today, though, lots of clouds in the sky once again for the Snake River Plain. High temperatures mostly in the 30s, but we will have a dry day ahead of a more moisture-filled day for tomorrow. And timing out that moisture, 12 o'clock today, again, lots of clouds in the sky. A few snow showers popping up across the Central Mountains. And then by about this afternoon, the clouds stick around. Moisture starts to build into the Central Mountains by about 8 o'clock. And then we'll see that snow cross across the I-15 corridor throughout the night, but then notice by about 5 o'clock tomorrow morning, most of the heaviest of the moisture is out across our eastern Snake Highlands into the western half of Wyoming. But we could see a few lingering snow showers throughout the morning for tomorrow, and temperatures to start off your morning will be a bit warmer than today. We'll wake up to those 20s. Your southeast Idaho Chevy dealer's seven-day forecast leaves us with snow and wind out there for the first half of tomorrow. Winds start to diminish tomorrow afternoon. will be mostly cloudy on Saturday. Partly cloudy for Sunday across Idaho Falls. Cloudy today. Snow and wind expected tonight through tomorrow morning. Mostly cloudy for Saturday. Partly cloudy on Sunday. For the Teton area, a few snow showers today. Snow likely tomorrow. We'll start off the weekend with plenty of clouds in the sky and even across the central mountains. Isolated snow showers today with more on the way for tomorrow.